my first impression of Moscow before I came here was that it was a very old city because I've seen many movies uh, where you only see the uh, old part of uh, the Moscow but when I came here it's like it's a part of Europe I mean uh, I couldn't uh, tell the difference be between uh, uh, capital here uh, in Europe and uh, in Moscow as well and uh, I was very surprised that the city is so big I mean uh, does it end <laughs> at all um, so and I also love the different kind of ar archi uh, architecture. If you see one uh, place, there's a large boat as design, and uh, uh, the other place a uh, roller coaster. And uh, a part looks like uh, Dubai. So I mean, it's great to see there are so many different uh, buildings in one city. Well, there are, there are many discussions also in Denmark of what parkour is and uh, you should follow all the rules, you could say that parkour is about getting the same direction as quick as possible, but that's not, uh, that's not parkour for me. I mean, it, it is about uh, exploring uh, the body and the movements and uh, uh, mo most important of all, have fun while you're doing it because that's why uh, I started parkour. It was the reason that I did it. It wasn't because of the philosophy and why at that particular moment I didn't know the history uh, of parkour. I've just seen it on television and that was enough for me. So I think it's very important that people are still um, creating new uh, kind of movements uh, and inspiring other peoples because that's what have happened. Otherwise uh, it won't develop. Uh, so I think it's very important that you have the joy When we arrived to Moscow yesterday, we could already see many different spots. Uh, so I thought we are very lucky to have those. And there, are, uh, it's common to all large cities. Mm, um, uh, but I could understand when I've been talking to the trousers, the local trousers here in Moscow, they said that it looks very good on the videos, uh, but there aren't so many spots. Uh, and I believe. Uh, uh, well, it depends on the architecture, architecture of course. Uh, one of the great cities uh, is London because uh, it always it seems like uh, it's made for parkour. Uh, and uh, I've also been in France um, in uh, Avru and Lis where parkour was uh, founded yeah, and started. And uh, you could understand why the parkour have started there because of the architecture. Uh, I mean, it was incredible to see all the flats uh, that you could jump from rooftops and uh, use the uh, environment for different uh, kind of movements. And, but the funny part is that uh, today it's not allowed to do parkour in this. And, and it's because of uh, all the people who go there, travels there, like pilgrims, right? So uh, the local people 
says that it's not a playground. I mean, it's their city where uh, they live. Heaven, I've never been to. It's so good for parkour. If you saw it, I could recognize it because we have something similar to this in Copenhagen. They can be here and train together. Um, yeah, and it's, it's so raw. It's not built for parkour, but it's just perfect for parkour, anyways. So I like it. It's good. <laughs> 